Andrew McGahan for Severe MMA here and Team Rhino standing alongside the most infamous man in Irish MMA at the minute has the most popular videos on Facebook and we're currently colour coordinating hat, t-shirt and wall it's an absolutely fantastic match we're looking good looking good Pat what's this about a documentary? yeah a little documentary going on at the moment specifically about Johnny Jitsu specifically about Johnny Jitsu John Redmond following me around just doing me bits and bobs just getting on. Just getting on. <laughs> a, a daily occurrence of what goes on, you know what I mean? Trips the little. I hear, I hear it's riveting so far. It's riveting stuff, yeah. It's very good. Talk to me about this fight. You're fighting a guy you've already fought before. Was I'm it a shock? I've fought an opponent I've already fought before. This fight came about because he was looking for the fight. So here we are. Be careful what you wish for. You're not going to uh, You're not gonna step down again? Or step down in general? Step down as in? As in, not take the fight because you've already bet him. You feel like maybe no, you don't no, have anything to prove. I, I want this fight. I, I want something to prove. Like he's he's doubting the victory. He's looking for it again. It wasn't if the fight wasn't one side. You know what I mean? The fight was me steamrolling him, and the result will be the same again. What's it going to be like? I know because you're a guy who gets caught up in the moment a little bit. You're a very intense guy, and I think oh, I'm an you, emotional guy. I wear my heart, my sleeve. Yeah. I ain't going to change for no one. That's, and that's why I am. why people like you so much. But I want to say is though the three arena is going to be absolutely packed. They're talking maybe six thousand people upwards going to be there. You're a guy who's fighting in your hometown. You're saying you're going to go to war. You're, it feels like you're ready to die in there. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, I think I think in my last two fights you can see how far I'm willing to push. You know, I I ain't stopping for no one. I have a big heart. I'm going to bite down on that gum shield and I'm going forward. I'm looking to finish. I'm not looking to compete in here. I'm looking to win. Technical street fight outside the chipper. You know yourself, gonna see? Andrew? You're going to see a full on What do you mean, know here. yourself? You know yourself. I've never been in a fight. Oh, well, you've watched a few down in Drogheda. Uh, Dundalk, Dundalk, actually. Sorry, yeah. sorry. My it's mistake. all right. I'll let you away with it. Talk to me about it, though, because you get to see your, your teammates like fight in, a, in arenas like this yes. you know we saw Neil Seary fight there last year a great a great applause we saw the Irish guys get a great reaction do you think this is going to completely even though you're fighting someone from the same country do you think it's more special for you because you're the Dublin guy well you can look at it that way it's in the three arenas the biggest arena in Ireland we have like to compete in but I'm not looking because he's Irish or if he's foreign or if I'm from Dublin or if I'm, this is a fight Andrew at the end of the day I, I don't give a shit who's in front of me here like at the end of the day, we've signed on the dotted line now to fight, and all I want to do is get in there and perform and win this fight. I have to say, well, hopefully, if you're talking about performing and exciting people, hopefully it's a little bit more entertaining than the role that we just had out there a couple of minutes ago. Yeah, our role, yeah. You're a bit of a stolen bastard. Yeah, I was kind of setting you up for a few elbows. I was <laughs> thinking what I was Elbows. Do. <laughs> elbows. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, pal. No, good to roll. You're not just a pretty face I know. a severe MMA, Andrew, huh? That's it, I can I, I can do a little bit as well. Talk to me, though. Uh, the last time I was speaking to you, um, you mentioned something about your gym. The guy who was leasing it to you had gone into receivership. Yeah, the, Any update on that? Well, there was a bit of problem with the gym. We actually got the stuff out of the gym. I have the stuff in my mother's shed, thank God, at the moment. We're, we're going looking for a new uh, place at the moment. So hopefully we'll be back up and running soon, very soon. And you know? not, and a a f- not affecting any of the guys' no, future fights? No, it's not fights affecting any of the guys' future fights. At the end of the day, like my fight was coming up, so that I was scheduled to fight, and then the guys were going to fight after me. But a lot of the guys like come up to Team Rhino. As I say, we're BJJ Revolution, so it's only a little blip on the road. But, yeah. you know, we'll get going again. The plan was, anyway, was to come up here for the six weeks, so it's not affecting that, you know? All right. Well, I was down with uh, one of your teammates today, Miles Price, Danny Kilkenny, and he said uh, the standard in the gym at the minute is just brilliant because there's so many guys helping each other get ready for fights, whether yeah. it's the amateur guys, we're seeing a lot of them very impressive and fighting regularly in Ireland, or it's the guys on the pro end of the scene, yourself and Miles, wow. and Chris, who's also uh, fighting pro as well. Yeah, without a doubt, like you have Patrick, Miles, Chris, like you have Paul here, Neil, obviously. Larry. Larry here. John Donnelly, Conrad, I mean, the guy is like an even little Yui here, wherever he is, there he is sitting over there. I mean, that's, the future's bright, you know, everyone's working hard like here. Like your hat. Do you like me hat? Yeah, yeah it's flashing. No, it. bright like your hat. Yeah, future's, uh, yeah. future's bright like me hat, I get you, mate, yeah, very right. good. Thanks for that. <laughs> uh, finally, a prediction, please. I know you're, you're, you're keen on them. Prediction for the fight. Prediction for the fight is a war. It's me coming out from the start, pushing forward, and going looking for that win. Go on, I know you want to say it. Who's the fuck? And Thank you very much. Just letting know, anybody who's out there, bam it, it's the biggest domestic show ever to hit these shores. If people are MMA fans here in the country, get out, get tickets off your local fighters, get tickets from Ticketmaster. It's the biggest thing going in Ireland. I mean, for guys like me and 
guys who are just pushing to get to that next level like everyone who's on the card is at the level it's great fights from top to bottom if you're a real mma fan and not a fucking bandwagoner get out and support who's the fuck